Hey guys, welcome back. As the year starts to wind down, this is one of my favorite times because this is where as teachers we get the ability to be a little bit more creative. Um, I don't know what everyone's specific circumstance is, but in my classroom, we finished all of our state testing yesterday. So I have a few weeks left with my kids um, and my goal every year is to end the year strong, end it in a purposeful way, um, and I try my best to avoid a lot of those end of year kind of busy work activities and, ex and instead I like to use this time to kind of experiment and do some things that maybe I wasn't comfortable with at the beginning of the year or some new ideas that I just came up with um, or sometimes just changing things from the way I did it the year before. This year what I decided to do, um, this next activity, is kind of reinvent some of the old things we did, some comprehension, some questioning, and through our social studies lesson we are going to review using a digital scoop. Now many of you guys um, are probably familiar with what a digital scoot is. It's very similar to the old game with task cards, but basically um, as a teacher I have set up uh, a slideshow, which I am using Microsoft PowerPoint, and I have designed various questions, and then you pull up a device for every student in the class, and each student um, works on that device per question. So each device has one of the slides open representing one of the questions. So for instance, computer number one may have question number one. Computer number two has question number two, so on and so forth. Um, and the students answer each question and then they scoot to the next computer. They actually physically get up and move and they go to the next question. One of the places I like to go to find pre-designed templates is Slide Carnival. And it's a really great website. You can search by specific things like color or styles. Um, you can also just go to the all templates and search all of them. I believe that the template that I used for this presentation, this digital scoop, um, is this one right here. And what's great is as you're searching through them, if you find one that you like, you can actually go through and semi preview it so you can kind of get a sense of the style. And they do a great job including title pages, heading pages, um, different styles of pages that you can then duplicate or delete um, based on your presentation um, and what you're specifically doing. When designing one of these activities, um, there are a couple of things that I would suggest doing. One, however many um, student computers you have, I would suggest having one or two more than the amount of students working. Um, so for instance, if you have 17 kids in your class working, try to have 19 computers or devices open so that if a student finishes before another one, they can scoot ahead um, and you can place an empty computer behind maybe one of your slower students or one of your students that you know is just gonna like analyze everything and take a little bit longer. Another tip I have is if you are short on devices and maybe you don't have a de device per student, uh, you could consider a couple things. You could maybe have the students working in pairs or make it more of a center activity where they rotate through that activity and the questions and then they move on to something else so that everyone gets their own individual time to answer. The possibilities with PowerPoint really go well beyond just the normal presentations. So if you have any great ideas, share them with us. We can't wait to hear what you guys are coming up with in your classroom.